The school year looks really different this year, but SA Live is here to help. From tech tips for your at-home network and fashionable finds at affordable prices to feel-good stories about school staff going the extra mile and educational fun and games. They have a little bit of everything coming up in their back-to-school primetime special, which is set for tonight. It's airing at 7 p.m. right here on KSET 12. And here to tell us what we can look forward to are Mike Osterhage and Jen Tobias Drusky. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, yeah. Hi. Yes. Mike, thanks for sticking around. Jen, thanks for coming in early. Thanks for having me. It's nice. It's a first for me to be on this show. Yeah. That's right. Okay. That's, first. <laughs> That's exciting. Uh, you know, and, and it's funny with the, the Back to School Primetime Special because in years past, obviously, it's been live. And this year is a little bit different. We're trying to make things be as normal as yes. possible and, and, you know, taking into account what the new normal is. Yes, right? yes, yeah. with, with how the world is now. So right. we're having to do what we can, but still all the great tips, right? Yep. So I know we have some, also some, some tech that you got to experience there at Best Buy, right? Because uh, kids being at home, I don't know if your kids, you know, had this last spring and maybe you had meetings and everything and um, with the Wi-Fi networks at home, what can you do to make sure everything is working optimally? You don't have to necessarily buy new stuff. I head over there to Best Buy and talk with the experts there. There are some really simple things you can do to make sure your Wi-Fi is working, the, the modem, the router, all that, you know, those gizmos and gadgets and things like that. And if you want to upgrade, things you can do to make sure everything's working perfectly for those online school sessions or if you have to do meetings at home as well. So. Mm -hmm. And Jen, you went and found two sisters who are revamping used furniture and supplies to make custom desk spaces for kids. How much can you save doing that? Yes, the twin sister interiors, they're great. They've been on our show before, so we go with them to a thrift store. They pick out items, and it's this big reveal. Like, how is it going to look after? And they do amazing things, all for $30 maybe. And they did a whole area cute um, for just a kid to have fun and learn. And just, you know, I think they need that, the kids. Um, so there's the desk there, and you'll be able to see the big reveal tonight. Awesome. Yeah. All right, meal prepping a big deal during the school year, too. Mike, who did you guys uh, find to help with that? Aaron, Aaron Chase. Yes. She's been on the show many yes. times, five-minute meals. Uh, but you can go to her website and find lots of great stuff. But, you know, you, you got to get into that routine and make things easy because everybody is working, you know, being at mm -hmm. home like the regular school year. So she's got some great great uh, yeah she's a mom of four boys so she's got one rotisserie chicken two different meals so she that's, knows how to that's what i like feed an army. Yeah. yes <laughs> a lot of cooking and a lot of families are struggling with being able to afford meals for their kids but david elder is tackling that in a brand new elder eats so what did mm -hmm. he find yes yeah, so he went out and found all these places that are offering free meals for kids um and then also just you know inexpensive ways to feed the entire family which we can all take advantage of of course especially with the school year starting all right, Jen, so we love those feel-good stories. You talk to someone who's making kids feel special every day. Tell us about her. Yes, yes, Margie is a custodian at Northwest Crossing Elementary. And let me tell you, she goes all out above and beyond and I'm not going to give the whole story away but she just got my heart I mean uh, you like know you there was a tear <laughs> <laughs> but yes uh, just good people doing good things and we need more of those stories don't we yeah so speaking of that you guys been doing these back to school specials for years now so what's your favorite moment Mine has to be two years ago. We talked to Tony, the sideline hero. He's been volunteering for two decades at Harlandale High School as the football manager. Gosh, that story. I mean, we worked so much on that one. Just he, manager of kids now, their dads, and yes. sometimes even generations. Was it, was it three generations worth. Yes. That he's been around. Yes, yeah. and just the sweetest guy, and just the heart of the South Side. Uh, that story, really. And then he was there in the audience, yeah. and he cried, and we just see him kiss bumps. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she will. She will definitely draw some tears from me with those stories. So, um, I, I think the moments I just miss being, you know, unfortunately being live because yes. you know, in years past we've had it down there at Market Square, sure. and we've had the bands mm -hmm. and the cheerleaders. Last year, of course. Oh yeah. At, uh, Coyote. Um, <laughs> He joined yeah, the party. We yes. Dice, and yes. you know we had a great time in the kind of the pep rally there. But uh, yeah, we're we're doing the best we can. So hope, tune in tonight, seven o'clock, right here in KSAD. And it's the uh, and by the way, uh, Sunshine Cottage yes. School for Deaf Children. Yes. They are the sponsor. They were hosting us, and we were shooting some of the intros and everything out there. Okay. All right. Got Jen, Mike. Thank you so much, guys. Tonight at seven. More KSAD.com. Thank you, thank guys. You guys.